What's going on YouTube? Advert Rooster here. Welcome to Let's Not Play Vampire Reign. Now, in the Let's Not Play series, I take games that are perceived as bad games or terrible games, and I try to stomach them as long as I can. Uh, I'll go along and explain as we play here. Vampire Reign's a very interesting game. Let's think um, hunting vampires without hunting the vampires, instead trying to sneak around the vampires. It's just a very bizarre game. Let's let this tutorial kind of speak for itself here. I'll kind of narrate through here. Um, basically, you play as Lloyd. He's a part of a special ops team that uh, I would say takes down Nightwalkers, but you kind of find ways to just kind of get by Nightwalkers. That's right. They're called Nightwalkers, by the way. They don't actually call them vampires, even though Vampire Reign is the name of the game. So, <laughs> I don't know. So make your way to Harrison. That's the mission here, and he's kind of the token black guy in the game. That's him right there. For a game that sneaks around a lot, he just kind of sits on the corner of the street. And there's a Nightwalker. And that's what happens when you're spotted by a Nightwalker. Your screen goes blurry. Uh, it goes into like this awkward Don't Metal Gear call. Codec call there. Um, so yeah, they see you. They don't, you know, even though he was 10 feet in front of me, um, they don't bother to like chase after you or anything unless you have been spotted for like 5 seconds straight. Which is really tough to do. Okay, so a cutscene, and let me warn you right now, I have edited a lot of this video. Here you go, here's a prime example. I just stood in the middle of the alley there. Nothing happens. But uh, I've edited together the like highlights of the cutscene, so this this game is like 50% cutscene, 50% play. I mean, that's being pretty generous, so uh, a lot of this is quick edits, and I wanted to see you guys, uh, see you guys, I want to see you guys, please. Uh, I wanted you guys to see how awkward some of the dialogue is, and here we go. Are you alright? Follow me! He's just like, Scorpion wins! And that's it, that's the mission. That That's Vampire Reign. I mean, I, I scored an A ranking. Um, we do not want to restart that stage. No, 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 no. So right here, we're going to save the game, and we are going to launch straight into this cutscene. And it's just a very awkward exchange of words between this colonel and his assistant about uh, the weather and vampires and I don't know. Well, let's see. Just listen. They report that everything is set for the extermination team. What about the weather in the area? Still raining, sir. Where's the extermination oh, team right now? Approaching E9 at this very moment, sir. Their ETA is 2130. Showers are expected to continue until tomorrow morning. I'm giving the extermination Just team random to go snippets ahead. about the weather. Sir. One of the lab boys, sir. He also said that if the It looks like he's about to profess his love to the may be colonel. Oh my god. They did absolutely nothing. So am I, son. So am I. Right. You survived when the walkers raided the Here we go. Here's another uh, highlight of Lloyd's past here when he took on the night walkers. This reminds me of a little bit of Resident Evil. That's totally not, you know, Solid Snake, Metal Gear Solid 3. Get off his back, Kelly. Here's our current position. And this is where we're supposed yeah, to I like I like that. If you notice that, like right okay. after that little flashback, he's like, "Get off his back." But she was just like, it was just a simple inquiry. She's like, "Hey, I, I heard what happened about the vampires. You were the lone survivor," and he was just very aggressive. Just the dialogue is just so. This is our current fucking weird, man. So, I can't talk over this guy. Damn it! Shut up, Harrison. I'll take the lead. There you go. Basically, this is the game in a nutshell. It'll show you a rendezvous point. Rendezvous point? God, I can't even talk. Mouth is dry. And you have to get to this point. And usually there's like three or four different blocks you can travel th uh, through, but there's only like one main ladder to get up the place. So it gives the impression of this choice that you have, but you really don't. See, like, I could have gone around that wall, but instead I jumped over the wall. <laughs> and Harrison is just not a very good teacher. He's just... uh. Terrible. Here's some great dialogue here. That just this here. Just watch. Hold it. Somebody's coming. Hey, come on. 
Wait up! Wait up! Come on! It ain't safe here at night! You wanna go missing like all the others? No, man! Hell no! Alright. And then, like, right after that, that scene with the pipe? What's wrong? I don't know, it just went from that cinema into a completely different direction with it. Like, you weren't even Look in the yourself. same spot where the cinema ended. I don't know. Look for yourself. I like that. But Lloyd, you've got to I can't even keep up with what the, the fuck is going on. I really can't. I, really I swear to you, there. I can't. God knows how I played this game for two hours. Okay, but let's, uh, let's, uh, you know, the, the rain effects are, are pretty good. Uh, we got here, random fat guy, again. He must have stuck that black dude in his van. And now, when I play this game, this van drives off, and maybe it's referenced later, but it drives off, and it's just gone forever. Like, it was never referenced again in the two hours that I played. It was just a random guy. I don't, I don't know. Lloyd? Here's Take another wonderful this. highlight. Looks like something drawn by a night walker using not blood. If that's blood, the oh room my god, you're blood. right. Yeah, but the blood's been mixed with a hardener. How do you hardener? even fucking know? You're not even looking at it. You, you haven't really even seen it. No, I guess not. I'm more interested in what this drawing means. These markings, they look like they astrological symbols for the sun. Well, I don't know. They're night walkers, and when it turns like daylight, they burn. Town. We'd better report this to yeah, you report it to headquarters. Maybe someone over there Everything is like headquarters in this game. I I don't know. Like headquarters just seems like a cheap way of. Oh, does this look familiar at all? By the way, does this look like Splinter Cell Chaos Theory at all, or Splinter Cell One for that matter? Anyway, but you figure they would, like, make up a fake agency, and your guy never blinks, look. It's really creepy. Here's another sewer, by the way. Remember that rant that I had about sewers? Oh, here's a scary scene. This is actually... Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Forget it. Nothing can save her now. Oh, my God. It's the ring, but backwards. Okay. Here's a cool part. This is the best piece of action I had in the game right here. Looks like it's locked. Lloyd, blow out the lock with your sidearm. The silencer will kill the sound of the shot. Thanks, Harrison, for explaining what a silencer does. I really appreciate that at this point in my training. Okay, so this is actually, it may not seem like it, but it's a pivotal part of the game because you are actually out of Harrison's control. Moving together makes us an easy target. From here there on, you go. We'll split, we'll up. split up. You both know the rendezvous point. God, no do I ever know that rendezvous point? Just do me a favor. Avoid any contact with enemy. Yeah. Understood. We have rifles. Yeah. We have guns. Okay. We have night vision goggles, no. body armor, but do not have contact with the enemy. So that was kind of the confusing thing of this game is you really don't know what your goal is as like a Nightwalker specialist member. Climbing down the ladder. Here's kind of a good display of creepy stuff in this game. Because it's not... It's a terrible game, but it's not... You know... i, I got to give credit where credit is due, and the, the Nightwalkers can be a little disturbing. Oh, is this a romantic spot you were talking about? Looks like Donnie Wahlberg. Hey! What's wrong with you? What are you? No. Alright. Stay away from me! Oh yeah. That's awesome. That is awesome. And this is this is probably made in like 2006 or something, so it's it's quite a bit old. Put his ass in the dumpster, leave the fucking gore, I love it. See, this was kind of a a cool part of Vampire Rain is that birds would give off your position. To be honest with you, with stealth games, I really haven't seen a game where birds give off your position. But here's the thing: I'm standing back like five foot away from where I was. I shoot, the birds go away, 
and nothing really happens. She goes and inspects. I hide behind the dumpster. I could have done that to begin with. Um, she was already looking in that direction. So what would have happened had I stepped in the direction and let the birds fly off? I'm betting probably the same thing. But, you know what? You don't fuck with Nightwalkers, so I wasn't about to try. So they kind of go crazy with that, like, that heat exhaust looking effect around the Nightwalkers, but that's okay. I mean, you really don't get a lot of games with vampires in them in the first place. Um, this guy's just chilling out here by the car. I put on my Necrovision to determine if he is a civilian or a Nightwalker, and he's a Nightwalker, so we truck it the other direction here. So, I mean, the game, it it's kind of a drab-looking game. Everything's got this block feel to it, a block look to it, too. Um, I mean, I know we're just looking at buildings here, but, you know, everything just... Nothing really is intriguing. You have no real incentive to go and investigate the rest of the area. Um, what do we got here? Okay, so I've met up with the team. And actually, I'm, a, I'm about to take Glad on a Nightwalker here. You guys get to see it. You didn't happen to run into a missing recon team on your way here, did you? I didn't see a soul, Captain. Here's the requested electro-pulse device and a gun for additional protection. I hate rain. We're lucky to have it. The stuff is supposed to dampen a Nightwalker's senses. Without the rain, they find us in a sec and make mincemeat out of us. With all those Nightwalkers around, unlike the Daredevil, Nightwalkers the do not like rain. Humans born in a city taken by Nightwalkers have left, but they always return. They return usually with a spouse they met elsewhere. Sometimes they've got kids. Jeez, what makes them do it? <sighs> Some say it's a smell. Too much CGI. And or it's not even CGI, this is just a cutscene. Occupied by night walkers. I've heard that anybody raised with that odor can't resist being away from it. If there is such an aroma, I've never noticed it. Hey! This is... <laughs> hey, guys! That's pretty cool. This kind of sucked. This guy just like whipped my ass. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh shit, he just fucking like about one hitted me. And what you couldn't see there, because the camera angle is so shitty, is that they like destroyed him and he turned into a puddle of acid. Lloyd, you okay? Yeah, so far. Colonel, we're standing by with the electro pulse device. Good. Send Lloyd inside the comp facility and have him take out the Everything antenna. moves so slow, it just takes forever to get sir? your mission together. That's what I said, Captain. The rest of you fall back to the command vehicle. Yes, sir. I mean, what's the point of having a squad of four people You're if just three of them are going to sit in this pizza van? You think you can handle the it is an undercover pizza van, too. Yeah, I'll take care of it. And this dude, like, dripping in blood, that about died from a vampire, has to go by himself. So, right away, I'm going to let you guys know I didn't record... Well, I recorded... All of my let's play a vamp or let's not play a vampire game, but I'm not gonna upload all of it just because this game has a tendency to drag on. Um, actually, I take on another vampire right here. I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. Um, I'm going through this tutorial on how to switch a, uh, to my rifle, and you actually see why you cannot fight these things. It is next to impossible to fight these things. Okay, so I see this vampire. I'm like, okay, he's behind this fence. Let's shoot him with an assault rifle. It's like, uh, let's get him in our sights. Drill! Oh my god. Oh my god, I am so fucked. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They're too fast, and once they knock you down, they just rape you. So anyway, guys, uh, you know, Vampire Reign's pretty much a 10 out of 10. Game over. And, uh, hope you enjoyed this short little video. So thanks for tuning in, guys. And we'll see you soon.